he said, tell the saints when the scripture says, beware of dogs, beware of evil workers. He's not talking about dogs as we know them. The barking, barking dogs. He's talking about people who have been transformed into the spirit of the dog. Simply means that they are so evil that they will deceive you, your children, and everything that's possible if you don't watch. See, and I thank God for people who have ch kids who love their children, who watch over their children, because you are the eyes for your house. God said, beware of dogs. He had to put it to that degree to show you that even though we're talking about humankind, the days of evil are so detrimental now that the man is no more than a dog in his actions and in his life. Matthew chapter 16 says, through 1 through 20, the Pharisees with the Sadducees came, tempting him, desiring that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, you say it will be fair weather. For the sky is red. They tried that this week. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today. For the sky is red and loud rain. Oh, ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the time. Right. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them and departed, and when the disciples were come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. Then Jesus said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. And they reason, say reason, among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. Which when Jesus perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves? Because ye have brought no bread. Do you not understand, neither remember the five loaves? He said, if bread was all you needed, I'm going to show you just how coming you all. If it was bread that you needed, whatever is here, I can take that motherfucker. Do you not remember the two fish and the five loaves of bread? I turned that into 5,000. And I fed everybody today. They still have 12 baskets left there. So I'm not talking about that. But what I am trying to make you aware of is that you folks have gotten so comfortable that you're hanging with the Catholics. You're hanging with the Mormons. You're married to unbelievers. Everybody's doctrine is fine with you. He said, beware of the teachings of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. The doctrine is going to determine where you end up at. Nobody wants to go to hell. But hell is real. And somebody's going there and say, not me. Not me. In the name of I'm gonna say it by faith. I'm not going there. I'm not, I'm not going, going there. there. Who not gonna send you to hell? Say I'm not going to hell. I'm, I'm not going, going to hell. Hell no. 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 Hell no.
And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee.